Oh yeah, <clears throat> let's do it, let's have a stream, have fun, 
Switching over here, let me press the right button over here. This goes to this, this goes to that, and we are good to go. Welcome back. We're doing some Crusader Kings 3. Um, it, ooh, that looks different. It looks like um, a lot of you guys are, are hankering for some old school fantasy action yet again. And I have brought just that for you. Um, although I do think... What's up, Edwin? How are you? I think there's some uh, shenanigans going on here with um, YouTube of late because... Everything's just been getting really terrible attendance right now. Videos, streams, everything. But I think it's also because of... Uh, the Office reference? Uh, which one? <clears throat> I think it's just because there is tons of stuff going on. And it is kind of hard to drill down to YouTube during that time. So let's take a look at where we were at. We had started our war here with Athens to take over Athens. Now, this is my custom character that is just unnecessarily gorged, right? Like, this guy is just bulky. Sanson, how are you doing, man? Weren't you here, uh, weren't you just here like two, three weeks ago? What's up, Carol? How are you doing, man? <clears throat> Let's have some fun. Let's play some Crusader Kings. I am cold as hell right now, so I might randomly put my hood on to rub my ears because I have got no hair. Um, it is what it is. Empty council position. Oh, yeah, sorry. We, so we have some mods activated. You can find all those mods in the description. Um, that way you can see what I'm using right now. <clears throat> so... We have the Minor Titles mods mod that adds in Minor Titles depending upon your rank. These are only for Count, this one's for Duke, and then you get these when you're at the King level. So we are currently a vassal. Ooh, little choppity doppity. Um, we're currently a vassal of the Byzantine Empire, and the um, the big goal for this campaign is to essentially take over the the. Byzantine Empire from the inside out. We want to kind of recreate the um, empire under Justinian. And the empire under Justinian essentially included uh, what is currently the Byzantine Empire. It, inc it included everything over here. It included the entire um, Italian peninsula all the way up to like the, 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 the bottom of the Alps. I'd say like right around here is probably pretty safe to say. Um, also... Northern Africa through Old Carthage, um, down through Cyrenica here, and then all the way down into this region as well. So, I don't remember if Saudi Arabia was included in, in, in everything, but I know uh, the Seljuk Turks were pretty much... Um, the Seljuk Turks are, are uh, of this era, but at the time, it was Persians, and I can't remember. It starts with an, uh, Sassanids, I think it was? I think it was just Sassanids. I can't remember the top of my head, but... Um, they had pretty much the Levant in the nice strip down towards uh, Africa, like you see. They did not have the Iberian um, Peninsula, let alone anything in France. Uh, it's really interesting history when you kind of take a look at the Byzantine Empire. Remember, the Byzantine is a name that only came out in like the 16th century, 100 or 150 some odd years after the fall of the actual Byzantine Empire by the Ottomans. So... When you think of the Byzantine Empire, you should really be thinking of the Roman Empire. The, the Byzantines were called Romans. They called themselves Romani, which is Romans. And they still saw themselves as Romans. The, the, the world saw themselves as Romans. They still um, took part in the same traditions and styles and everything of the Roman culture of antiquity. And when we look at the uh, all of the people that are in the fractured a Western Roman Empire, they kind of still saw themselves as as Roman citizens until they really were taken over by a new superpower. When you take a look at the fall of Rome in the four hundred in the four uh, hundreds, you you see the um, Visigoths taking over Rome, and the guy who takes it over doesn't say, "Hey, I'm the new Roman emperor." He says, "Hey, Byzantine Empire, how about I be a vassal state of yours?" So essentially. The Western Empire hadn't completely fallen, and all of the citizens throughout, you know, Francia and throughout the Iberian Peninsula still saw themselves as 
Roman citizens because they, for the most part, they didn't really know better. Uh, they didn't think that the the that Rome had fallen. You know, news travels slow, especially when the Roman structure that creates that news falls apart. And there was a small holdout kingdom in the northern portion of France <clears throat> that maintained allegiance to what you would consider as Rome. And I can't remember; it was a kingdom of something. Uh, it has a very fancy name, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but that maintained its kind of Roman um, autonomy aside from everything else. And under Justinian, he goes and uh, really reunites a lot of the Italian peninsula, taking over Sicily and parts of Sardinia. And it's not a conquering of these lands. It's not a destruction of the Visigoths and, and supplanting of their beliefs and, and a reintegration into the Roman Empire. It's a liberation. It, it's a, it's, these are already Roman citizens. It's pretty much saying, hey, yeah, you're back. You, Rome's here. We're, we're here. We, we, never, we didn't leave. We, we were coming back for you. So it's a really interesting history for the Byzantine Empire. And it's a very interesting dichotomy when we look at the Byzantine Empire and what is truly still the Roman Empire. We think of the fall of Rome in the 400s, and that's the end of the Roman Empire as we know it. But it really isn't. The Roman Empire goes on until 15-something when the fall of Constantinople finally happens. Is it soy, it's Soissan? That might be it, Josh. Purple Romans aren't Romans. <clears throat> we will try to restore the Roman Empire. So we started off with the with Hellenism, which is pretty brutal, very hard, because no one likes us around us. <clears throat> so we have to spend a lot of time befriending people and doing a lot of stuff. 14-something, that's right. 1600s, I'm, yeah. Uh, when was the fall of Constantinople? I think it was like 1454? 1453! Damn! I, I swear to God, I hadn't loaded. Yes, Ostrogoths, thank you. Ostrogoths are like right here too, right, Chris? So like a little tiny portion. And you have like the Vandals down here. I guess the Visigoths are over here. Ostrogoths are over here. Why do they call it the Byzantine Empire? It was mainly a distinction between <clears throat> antiquity, Romans, and what became the Eastern Roman Empire under um, Orthodox Christianity and how that also changed the culture and tradition of Romans. Um, no longer are you looking at the uh, Roman pantheon, which you also didn't in the end of the Western Empire. Uh, Chris might be able to give a better uh, explanation for this as why it's called specifically the Byzantine Empire, um, but or Byzantine if you want to go down that route. But it's mainly a classification or distinction between the Roman Empire of Antiquity and the um, Eastern Roman Empire, I guess you could say, the ERE. And the Senate actually still functioned. The Senate in Rome still functioned um, throughout all of the time up until Justinian uh, recaptured Rome. So it's, it's a very, it's not this like, it's not this point where we look at the Dark Ages the Dark Ages are when everything became dark because it's the Dark Ages. And this is the word we're going to use. It's the Dark Ages. Things, for the most part, you know, stayed the same. It's just simply that the power heads were gone, right? Like Rome was no longer the Roman Empire, but now it's the East Roman Empire. They're still considered the Romans. But these people in just some peasant over here did not know the Roman Empire was gone. So Chris said, a historian in the Holy Roman Empire of the 1600s, maybe 1700s, called them Byzantines because of Byzantium, an ancient Greek colony. As Sparty said, it was a name change to disassociate them from antiquity. Uh, Ross Pafel said, did you know that the Vikings were hired to defend Constantinople against the Rus? Yes, they were called the Varangian Guard. Um, oh, against the Rus? Um... The first rule, the real beginning of the Varangian Guard is in the 900s under Basil II, who told um, Vladimir the Great, Vladimir the First, the Great, of uh, Kievan Rus, hey, if you give me men, you can help me uh, supplant this guy and you can marry my my uh, sister who you've already you've always loved. And that became the tradition of Varangian Guard within 
uh, the Byzantine Empire. Varangian just means it's a it's a generic word for anyone up here. It's like a barbar it's like barbarian basically, but not necessarily exactly barbarian. It just strictly means pretty much anyone who is from over around this region and even portion of Kievan Rus. Uh, when we think of the Varangian Guard in the first inception of them, they're mainly Kievan Rus or Russian. Um, and then they also fill in with a lot of Norwegian, Swedish, um, Denmark. But towards the end of when you really take a look at the Vrangian Guard, it actually has a ton of Saxons. Because after Sax the uh, England gets conquered by William the Conqueror, the Saxons that were a part of, say, um, Stamford Bridge or the Hastings, like, okay, well, I got nowhere to go. I'm going to head over here and, and ply my trade as a fighter in the Byzantine Empire. And they were the personal guard of the emperor. Yeah, Tsar is the uh, Russian, it's basically the Russian interpretation of the word Caesar. All right, so let's go back to, let's get to it. Yeah, Travers has got a point. Uh, they're not Norse runes, it's graffiti. I mean, yes, they are Norse runes, but the Norse runes are specifically graffiti. Like, And they say, like, so-and-so was here. There's um, ancient penis drawings all over Rome. Rome's lo Rome loved their phallic things. I thought we won this war. Suppose not. I mean, I pressed continue, but I thought we got this. We're about to. I'm good, Nol uh, Nolathan. How are you, man? I don't know this much history. I'm a nerd. I watch a lot of history stuff. I've always watched it growing up. I was a big fan of history. My brothers were into history. Um, I knew uh, there's some stuff that's some holdover history knowledge that I know uh, from the old days that I think has also really changed, and I've also learned a lot of a lot of new things. Especially this past year, I've gotten really back into um, history. So here's a sponsor right now, Magellan TV. No, I'm just kidding. Like every every like. History YouTube channel always has like a plug for uh, Magellan, and I'm like, I'm getting more and more interested in down and like trying it. <laughs> try and use, try using the breach protocol hack to weaken city fortifications. How the hell do I quick hack these guys? All right, so let's get this guy to become my vassal. All right, yeah, you kind of, you don't mind that, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Attica, what's my favorite historical era? I would say Byzantine. I, I mean, sorry, I would say classic antiquity, go like classic Rome and Greece and 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 that time period, including, of course, like Alexander the Great, um, the Seleucid Empire with the uh, successor kingdoms and Rome and Carthage because I think that what's really important about that time is when you really start to see how cultures mesh together and create the cultures that we have today but also there's so much knowledge of that time lost like it's suspected that Carthaginians were actually able to go all the way down to the bottom portions of Africa or possibly even into portions of um like the caribbean and such and that's why they see like they have found greek ruins over there so greek style ruins so i kind of wonder what what that all means like i would love if someone said hey you can go anywhere for a week and anywhere in time at any point i would say i want to go to uh the library of alexandria because i would love to just see what knowledge was included in there that was lost that might explain things that we can't explain now? That's I would love to find that out. Uh, Travers said, if you can afford it, you should take a holiday in Istanbul. It's the coolest city in the world if you're a history buff, and I've traveled a lot over the years. Uh, so Dogbert 
over at Creative Assembly, he does a lot of traveling and he's really into history. Probably one of my favorite things about doing the Ever Chosen for Total War Warhammer is the points when we get to spend time in a pub talking. And if you get Dogward just a little drunk, he will go on and on about history. And I love it. And he talks about um, going to Istanbul and going through the Crusaders way, through the, the actual um, sea route that they took from Italy down through here, uh, through the Golden Horn into Istanbul. And I would love to do that. He's like, you can see the Hagia Sophia from the, like, from the actual water and everything. I would love to see that. See, there you go right there. Carthaginians never went to the Caribbean, but it's possible they went as far south as the Ivory Gold, Ivory or Gold Coast. Also, Pythias of Massilia was the first to write about polar ice caps and northern lights. There you go. Your fan fiction, Crisps. You're trying to tell me that a Cyclops is fan fiction? And Harry Potter pulled out his huge Cyclops. <laughs> Stop dragon. Okay, so we should probably try to get the Aegean Islands here. Is this all one big? No, it can't be. You think CK3 will let you play as a mayor? I hope not. <laughs> that's that feels just too nuanced. But I mean, I could see you happening. I think you were able to do that in uh, two. Guys, make sure you are liking this stream. Like I always say, turn it blue. It helps me out a ton. Okay, so I need this. What is my duchy title? Okay, no, I need all of this. Okay, so that's the Aegean Islands. Athens is this, so I need... Obia. Eubia? I think it's Euboia. I have artifact art, uh, uh, artifactual. I actually really enjoy it. That's another that's another time period I really enjoy. One of those hats. I don't want one of those hats, Guinness. Lesbos is not pronounced Lesbos, and I can't remember how it's pronounced. Like Boa or something like that? Okay, so we need to take this. And that's part of this guy's domain. And he actually is stronger. I am now much stronger. I'm going to unpause that and let it kind of do its thing. We can raid, which is cool. So we might... What's going on? Okay, that's what I wanted to see. So we can go up to Dukla. Uh, not right now, Marksman. Yeah, I'm missing a minor title, and I can't replace him because I need to get more Hellenism converted. Up in this piece. Well, we will go back to Cyberpunk, all things permitted. It just seems like, oh my god, that's a Chaos Warrior. Um, it seems like a lot of people weren't enjoying it as much on the channel, so... I do, this is my job, my full-time job, so I do have to kind of make sure that I'm doing what the folk want. Les Baos is a lovely island, kind of full of 20-year-olds and Jaeger bombs. That sounds like New Jersey. You went to New Jersey, Chris. I'm thinking you went to New Jersey. They all have spiky hair and fake tans. So there's no head of my faith. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was telling me, like, there's there should be one. I Dude, I am loving Cyberpunk, Julian. Welcome to Jersey. What, you want a Jaeger bomb, huh? You and your bros, you look like you want some Jaeger bombs. Hey, Basilius Mapping. How are you doing, man? You should know what I'm playing. I'm playing Crusader Kings 3. Your name's Basilius. It fits in with what we're talking about. Okay, so let me, uh... Kind of get my bearings here. I've been talking a little too much. Get some tips. Mateus, yeah, I've got it on the channel. 
I, I don't know. I, I think because there's too many people covering Crusade or uh, Cyberpunk, I, I think it just went under the radar for some people on my channel. And that, that happens because I'm not ranked very high in Cyberpunk. Everyone's trying to do it right now. So oh, I really want to get these cataphracts. I'm sorry. I know they're not like the best thing in the world, but I want them. Um, and maybe we'll also get some light footmen. Screw it. They're pretty cheap. Um, so I think that it's taking a little time for me to try and jump into the algorithm. So I'm having some fun with Crusader Kings because I've been wanting to play, play recently. Thanks, Basilius. Appreciate that, man. Okay, so let's look at some duchy titles around. So we now have enough to usurp Athens. Oh, no, we, we own Athens. Okay, so we are the Duke of Athens. We don't have... We have a kid. We have a kid. He's not... He's not a genius, but damn if he's not a Herculean little bastard. He is our current heir. I'm 26, so he's a little... I mean, when I die, he's going to be old. So we kind of don't want that. So ideally, we would try to get a younger child. Um, we started as a duke, Kenneth. The Duke of Thess uh, Thessaly, actually. We were granted this title... We, were, we, own, we started with this title. So, thank you, Raiden. I appreciate that, dude. Zorak, what's up, man? Uh, the Iron Mine in Thessalonica? Let me take a look. Is it a duchy building? Ooh! I don't remember where, to, where those mines are. I thought they were duchy buildings. Blacksmiths. Because I know about the mine in Sardinia. I'm a triple duke. <laughs> Where is this mine you speak of, my bro? So this is with the new patch. They made like a really cool little floral wreath around it. Uh, around your coat of arms, and that changes. Silver, obviously, is you have a duke, gold if you're a king, and then you get, like, the rainbow uh, explosion color if you are a... Uh... Some barony in Thessalonica has a mine, special feature. Yeah, it should be... I mean, the mine itself, I think, is... Oh, it's individual barony. Hmm. There's an ad that plays for you? It's weird. There shouldn't be an ad on here. What is this mine? Oh, I think this, there it is. Right there. Right there. The mining settlement. So what's interesting is, because of the way that this works with... Um, Upgrade it. It's expensive. Uh, Carol said, I would recommend f to work for, to reform Hellenism. Definitely. We are absolutely going to reform Hellenism. Hellenism is going to be our shining light in the darkness here. So let's also increase, since this is going to be basically like a building like a, uh, not a tax haven, what the hell? <laughs> so this county, in and of itself, we're probably going to want to build... This duchy, I suppose, we should probably focus on increasing the income from here. Because if we do so, we're trying to, we're going to maximize what comes out of that mine. Um, I'm not even wearing anything under this here, Crisps. No tank top, just... A sweet, hot sweatshirt. It does support me, so I appreciate it, but I, I didn't know that they play ads when I'm doing um, streams. Okay, let's look where these holy sites are. So there's one here in Athens. So... It says that the Holy Roman Emperor owns it. 
but I think what we have to do is convert that region. Because see, it says Holy Roman Emperor. Or does the faith of the parent faction have to be um, Hellenism? Uh, Guinness, I think I have. Like, I know I've done stuff on that, but I don't know about specifically those items. I'm pretty sure I've covered it in my videos. There's 22 guide videos out there, so I would dip into those, my brother. I should actually put those on Steam. Okay, um, so Epirius, Epirus, I mean, sorry. Oh, look at this little Cephalonia. In fact, if you ever called a medieval Roman a Hellene, you better book it because in this in their time, meaning meant pagan, and they were super duper antsy about that. It's true. That's why um, when you look at the the Byzantine Empire, specifically the Eastern Roman Empire, they stop. Um, they stopped doing gladiatorial battles. That was considered, you know, barbaric and pagan and everything like that. So the primary, like the the primary, like sport in the Eastern Roman Empire in the Byzantine Empire was horse racing. At the um, not the Hagia Sophia. Uh, what's the big, huge thing where they race horses, Crisps, in Constantinople? It could it could fit a hundred thousand people. It was the location of one of the revolts during Justinian's reign. Like, the legionnaires killed 30,000 civilians in the thing. Touch with an H. Hippodrome. Thank you. Thank you. So next up, we're going to take Sparta here. Um, and he's pretty weak, so it's a good target. We're, we're expanding pretty quick, which is good. <laughs> I don't know how the Emperor's going to respond to this, but we're definitely eating up a lot of territory. My goal is to capture this entire um, Greek um, It's also the name of a techno club in Colchester, England. <laughs> Yeah, we are using the community flavor pack, which allows us to get a lot of really cool different variations on uh, what we're doing. So it, that's kind of fun. Okay, so he's Greek Orthodox. I think I'm, I think he is, yeah, I'm, so he's going to convert on his own. Look at the rest of my little dudes here. You probably won't convert, will you? He might accept. If I convert him, that will help. Campaign so far is good. Yeah, watch out for the 300 strong man. I mean, it really is a 300 strong man army. 353. So what we're going to do here is... Fabricate a claim on Ikea. And the nice thing is, when we fabricate this claim, we will actually be able to do it on the entire duchy. Because they're pagans. Or, not pagans. They're not of my faith. Which is great. Um... We're going through diplomacy right now because we have just... We need diplomacy because we everyone's at odds with us. What, what's, some, what's, some, what's some ideas do you have for future DLC for the game? I would like to see something involving um, any of the non-Catholic religions. Uh, focusing mainly on the Muslim religions because all of them are Islam for that matter. They're all pretty bland and I'd like to see a little bit more behind them. Um, or at least stuff over here in portions of like tibet and over maybe here with the mongols i could i could see there being a dlc for wrath of the northmen i could see a dlc for the crusades involving both catholicism and islam with me mechanics around it i could see a great mongol horde dlc and i could see something revolving either india or tibet as a dlc uh colonel burton waiting for 1.5.6 Hopefully soon. I, I do have a, the Empire Guide I want to get out this week, though. So 
So Count Michael. Oh, he's deceitful too, huh? Well, I can imprison you, I think. I don't like that he is deceitful with that much intrigue. That is not good. So what are you doing? You're disrupting our schemes? Good, good. I would put him as... I'd put him on the court, but he's just too... He doesn't like me enough for me to put him on the court. Um, okay, so... What would influence this guy? Well, there's a lot. <laughs> Uh, but we should have a whole ton of new things up here, too, guys. Check this out. And that one's sick. Isn't that sick? Ha <laughs> ha! And we also got a new uh, Super Chat thank notification. That's all fleshed out now. It says thank you and everything like that. So a little robot. Um, so awesome, awesome, awesome improvements to the channel. I haven't changed these two. It's just kind of, they're just they're old faithfuls. I'll probably change the the Malekith one to the to the donation notification one, the new one. But they look really good. I'm really stoked on them. We don't we still don't have a lot of really good people in positions here? Hey! This mayor, though. Mayor. Pretty cool if you converted. No? Okay. Pretty cool if you converted. No? Alright. I mean, you don't own land, so... Nor do you. Um... I think we're gonna pop this guy in as steward because we just need better... People in positions. He's not going to be too happy about that, but it is what it is. It's not like he owns a. Uh, it's not like he's a, a vassal with like a county or anything like that. Uh, uh, Jeb, that's the one for the uh, sponsors. That's the uh, from three hundred when he goes Spartans. What is your profession? And they all do the, oh oh. Meet the Spartans. It's actually called. Kefalonia, not Cephalonia. Oh, okay. This is over here. Kefalonia. Thank you very much. Yeah, any pronunciations for any of these Greek words, by all means, let me know. All right, let's go a little fast forward here. Get the time moving forward. What are we working on? We're doing a sway on the emperor, which is good. Am I trying to befriend him? Ooh, did not succeed. Let's well, actually... Ah, the age of knowing. My ward, Count Nikolaus, hovers in the limbo between childhood and adulthood. I have taught him enough to understand the truth, and he is still young enough to have an open mind. If I want him to induct him to the surface of Hecate, it is now or never. He deserves to know her power. Oh, jeez. Learning challenge. 90% chance. You know what? It can't ever hurt. You get that little bump above. 93. We'll take it. Oh, he's doubtful. So what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that, what does that mean? Does that mean he didn't... Did he not absorb the teachings? I think it's because of budget, Jeb. Uh, why not give land to the non-titled? Um, might as well, actually. Oh, the reason I haven't given him land is because I haven't gotten land to give. And I don't want to give up my personal holdings because you get 100% of the taxes of your personal holdings. Um, it's really not as easy. Yeah, that's probably my biggest issue with any historical fiction movie is people's unnecessarily unnecessary need to go, well, this is not exactly true. Like, yeah, I know. It's why it's called historical fiction. <laughs> Let's have some fun with it. 
pretty prostitute. <laughs> Oh, he won't get a witch trait. Thank you, Carol. That's what that means. Okay. That's kind of cool. I thought that was saying that, like, that is so <laughs> sick. Okay, so we're going to let that go a little bit further. Actually, let me work on swaying someone else here. Um, let's sway him. I need even send a gift. How much is a gift? 110 for 50? It's not worth it. We'll just wait the, wait the time out and get the sway going. What's up, Brendan? How are you? We'll do that. In faith, truth. After all my lectures and all my shared wisdom, my ward, Count Nicolaus, has finally embraced the true faith. I always knew he would make a good little Hellenic one day. Athena guided my hand. We have our first branching of Hellenism into the world. CKJ with a $10 donation saying the new full screen barbershop lets you combine any 15 characters you want into the same portrait. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, Ivan, it's to reunite the Roman Empire. Thank you for the donation. Thank you very much, by the way, man. I appreciate that, CK. $10 big one coming in from you, hot and heavy. Greetings do Constantinos of Thessalonica. Is that my name? That is my name. <laughs> I thought it was Spartacus. The family name is Spartacus. Um, I have heard good things about you, and I am interested in starting a written conversation. I hope that this letter finds you willing, for I am wait awaiting your swift reply. Now, who are you, boy of boys? Oh, yeah, uh, let's do this. This is, is this to start romance or is this to start friendship? Oh, I see he is a heterosexual. While well, I, myself, am a bisexual. Starting changing letters with Leon. Frame the dude's letter, letter in my hall or politely decline. Why would I, why would I lose stress from that? Like... Jesus Christ, I don't have to be pen pals with someone, thank God. Like, <laughs> it's a little intense to lose stress from that. I guess we'll just start changing these letters. See what comes of it. Okay, uh, go progressing forward a little bit more. That's just Kati gained the trait pregnante. And she is Hale. And Pregnante. Our West goes down though, man. Hmm. Artenos of Naples for a Rome playthrough, though historically they were called Sergei. Sergei? I actually don't know about that, Paul. My character just has a furrowed brow just like I do. And I love it. Okay, so he will come of age any day now. Um, we're forging this claim. Maybe we do our our army is getting huge again. Thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. Brennan, your birthday's coming up, man. Good happy uh happy birthday, dude. So he is Craven. And that's even his personality. Uh, he's shy and he's lazy. Various poisons in their applications. I'll send a gift to show my appreciation. Oh, I bet we'd love to hear the latest gossip. Um, I feel like telling out the latest poisons is kind of something that makes the most sense. Uh, this guy is craven, he's shy, he's lazy, so he probably owns a tumbler. So I, I would assume he would want to talk about something completely inconsequential to the real world and odd, like poisons. <laughs> Although, I mean, if he's Byzantine, or if he's Eastern Roman, the poisons are super applicable to the real world. <laughs> so 
Because I don't think you want to hear about the latest gossip. And I mean... All this seems to play as well into poisons, I guess. <laughs> I feel like he's going to be repulsed. Alright, crisps. Giovanni, absolutely, man. Thanks for jumping in. Let's just let's just see what he says. Over here, he's at war. Journey of Dew. Okay, so he's having a little uh, insurrection there. When does this complete? This completes pretty soon. I suppose we should take this time to. Just go north, and the nice thing is we could actually raid these lands, and they are actually bigger than I thought. But they wouldn't outright come back at me, so let's take a look. I've already pretty, I've already pretty much like pillaged these lands just recently. Hungary is not at war and has a huge force. Croatia is at war. Ukla is... Not at war. That's a pretty decent sized force. 14 though, 18. Yeah, I can make a pretty penny right here. Oh, whoops! Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right? Me over there? Me right there? That guy? This dude over there? Is right here. That guy is right here. He? Him. Is this dude. Um, so let's go. Let's go like kind of tap into Duclo a little bit. See what we can do. So we'll take a military early point. That there. We'll need the money anyway. We'll raise all as raiders. 1900 to their 1500. Actually might not be the best idea. Nah, screw it. Let's go have some fun. You flatterer. Or... Yeah, we got the one that... <laughs> Excuse me, we got groomed to rule, which is good. You played yourself. Me? Me? Him? Me? 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 Him? 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 Me? Me? Calm yourself. Gotta pace yourself. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just hottie overloading here. One, two, three, what's up? One, two, three, what's up? Um, I'm trying to find someone to befriend. And no one nobody likes me. He likes me. He he might be good. Um I'm going to take this location over, so I should not befriend him. Crete. Ooh, Apulia, huh? Well, the Outville is not my worry right now. Dracian might be a good friend to have. It's basically just I want people on my side in case some shenanigans go wrong. I could try to just befriend the Empire, Emperor. Hmm. Let's finish this way scheme and then we'll get to there. <clears throat> and let's do, let's go ahead and actually just raise all these. Ra whoa, 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 whoa. What? The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my Chancellor, Mayor, you know, can it, uh, you know, Gentios has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed at the council table. He is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's take a look here. So, you guess he is unassertive, lethargic, or unambitious. <clears throat> uh, he's self-conscious and cares about what others think. He 
Yeah, as he has often been objectified due to his appearance. Or there's just this one. So let's see. He's a rapacious empath. Or empath. He does care about what others think. So that might be this one. Because he's also pas or compassionate. He's greedy. And he's temperate. Greedy fits with rapacious. And compassionate fits with empath. empath. Uh, but he's also temperate. So enjoys things in moderation. Yeah, I think number two is the way to go. <clears throat> Mocking his sensitive soul will shut him up. Coming on his shapely legs will throw him off. Or I will ignore him and steal his ideas. He's not unassertive, lethargic, or unambitious. He's greedy. <clears throat> let's do sensitive soul. And let's raise some raiders. Go a truncing up here to Dukla. My constant snide comments about Mary Nokus's sensitive soul really seems to have gotten to him. Since the others began to follow my example, Mary Inokentios has grown more and more hesitant. Now, he remains quiet, eyes cast low. Cruel, perhaps, but it had to be done. I love the new... Uh, if you, got, you guys have seen this, right? This is the new war screen. So you can get it just is a way it just looks a lot cleaner. <clears throat> looks really good. I do not know for certain, but I have heard that there are cool things coming to the game, and I don't know what the hell that means. So hopefully I've heard that like January is gonna be a cool time for Crusader Kings. And I don't know again, I have no idea what that really means, but I'm hoping we get some really fun stuff coming. You recommend the standing desk. Uh, Medic, I do. Or is it Medic or Medic? I'm sorry, man, if it is either one of those and I messed up. <clears throat> I love it. I upgraded almost a year ago to the day, and I got a 70-inch one because I got a one that I wanted to move into. Like, if I get a bigger place. I live with, like, four people right now, so I live in a, a 10 by 11 room or 11 by 12 room. So, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's what I meant, Tal. I, I was about to just say that the designer, or designer, the dev diary said, hey, nothing coming until at least mid-January. So, I've heard that that, whatever that is, is supposed to be big. So, I'm excited for whatever the hell it could be. But, um, if you get a standing desk, you have to, you can't stand like this and type and play the whole time. You have to bounce around on your legs a lot, move your legs, stretch them, like roll your feet to get them stretched out. Like you can't just sit there in one place or else it will, you'll, you'll get like lower back cramps and stuff like that. Okay, so this is gonna do the do. Let's let him come and fight me here. Ah, my son, Marco Spartacus. <gasps> Marco Spartacus is a monstercus. <laughs> So we already have a Leonidas. Um, yeah, I bounce around on my... Sometimes you guys just see me fidget. I'm usually bouncing my... Like, if my leads are like this. I'm usually going like that. Like, bouncing them around. I also have... I just upgraded my chair. And I have a really nice, like... Secret Labs Titan that I fucking love. What are we doing with a name here, huh? What kind of name are we going to do? Marcus is pretty good. Laurentius? Lauren's my ex. That's not gonna happen. I have a standing pad, yes. I got, I got another one for my for Christmas. That's what I asked for. One of the ones that has all the little like angles that you can kind of do it. Demetrios, which is pretty cool. Dorothios. Dorothios. Raphael. Monstrucus. <laughs> Lazarus. Ooh. Constantinos. Ooh. Constantinos is it. Constantine's one of my favorite names. Well, my name's Constantinos. My name's Constantinos. Bro Brotios? 
Radagost. <laughs> Name him after myself. We'd use the C? Okay, we'll use the C. Costas. <laughs> Alexios. Constantinos Spartacus. Again. <laughs> Dude, this little guy is going to be a machine. Educate that child. Alright, got a little fight going on here. I'm brave, so I gotta be careful. Oh no! My ward has come of age and it's time he left my care. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Nicholas the intricacies of diplomacy. All efforts, though, have come to naught, however. If you at any court would be overly impressed by his grasp of etiquette, but at least he does now does know how to hold his own in polite company. Well, not excellent results, I'm sure his parents will have no complaints. Eh, ooh, poopy. <laughs> okay, so we got that army smashed and crushed. Who died? Let me see them deets. Oh. Let him go. Let him go to the wind. Do I have any... Ooh, this guy... This guy's good, but look how... Ex oh! He's only 40. Yeah. Snagging him. Okay, let's go to... This is 8, and it's going to take way longer. So we'll do... I'm all about sacking things that are cities, or just stuff that is way easier to take. Fuck me them deets. Um, the so the Byzantines had legionnaires. Uh, they are not the tip. They are not. Um, ooh, I've been crushing with your chancellor, and it has been a shameful. To, well, thanks, guy. So, the Roman army of the Eastern Roman Empire was actually still comprised of legionnaires. But the legionnaires had dropped, they dropped the Lorca Segmentata, or Segmentum, um, in in place of chainmail because it was easier to mass produce and it also provided pretty ample protection. Um, the mass expenditure of military innovation or a military, um, I just makes military expenditure period, had waned in the years towards the end of the Western Roman Empire and the beginning portions of the Eastern Roman Empire. There were only very specific emperors that poured large amounts of money into that. Alright, coming into another war here. Well, these are being countered, unfortunately. Damn. Chad. Oh no! <laughs> Romanos was killed. Who what was he the guy of? He was someone. He might he might have been a minor council guy. Yeah, he was a court champion. And that, that's one of the big things about Roman military, as Chris Crisps is illustrating. It was extremely adaptable. It didn't just lose and not change. Uh, the the um, Peloponnesian Wars are a really good example of the Roman military fighting against the phalanx, which was very difficult for them to originally deal with. But then they discovered that, you know, the Roman manipular system was adaptable, whereas the um, phalanx was rigid. If the phalanx broke or, or, or had any gaps in it, it was easily flanked or uh, charged from the rear. So, with the manipulator system, you could say Macedonian Wars, I guess, yeah, that might be a better one, when uh, they're fighting against um, 
who is the guy who basically like rallied like it was like all over here and most of the fights were down over here crisps is the macedonian wars i thought it was um i thought it was like the second peloponnesian ones or punic Peloponnesian. punic is with carthage Philip the fifth thank you we actually became a really a really good there there were multiple it who became a really good vassal at the end of the day like um one of the Philips was a really strong vassal to the to the Romans and the Macedonians enjoyed a good amount of autonomy because of it okay so how much more can we do we can do quite a bit more I'm trying not to go for the cities because I just lose more men and it's really not that much more of a gain. So I might as well stick to these smaller little little uh, ditties. And I'm trying not to get in conflicts in the hills here because they are, I'm going to be at a disadvantage. Oh, that's a good little guy right there. And that's planes, perfect. Yeah, that's good for my cataphracts. Hmm. Do we do we fix this? Okay, Pontifex. Master of the horse. Don't put you. Maybe we keep you on because you don't like me. Um, Aaron, I am. I created this character as Hellenic, so we are, we can raid. My position's all good, right? Where, where am I? Oh, where am I? Over here. Okay, so we'll do this real quick and then we'll leave. Or what is this? No, that's Croatia. Yeah, we... Yeah, if your religion allows it, I suppose. Okay, so... Ooh! Got ourselves a little hostage. Not to be confused with sausage. Oh, the guy does kind of look like a sausage. All right, let us leave these lands. Prisoners, a nice, a nice ransom. Just in time too for this to kick off pretty soon for this fabricate claim. How are these factions going against your liege? Ooh, that's a pretty hefty one. War declared on liege. Vasilius Moon is attacked by Du Nikophoros. This guy. Oh, that's not a good war for you, dude. I mean, I could do that and try and get autonomy, but I want to stay a part of the Byzantine Empire as long as I can to just eat it up from the inside. Because, remember, I'm a... Uh, what we've done is... Unreformed faith, that's it. What we've done is we have uh, thicker than water. What is this next one? Stop it. Each of your friend relations give you two random skill points, the maximum of five. Mm. I do kind of like that opinion gained. Ducal conquest. I see maybe Dusel. Is it? Oh, that's that's writing. I was like, Isn't the, where's the one you can buy commission or uh, epic? Oh no, not epic decision. Where's the one you can basically buy a CB? I'm pretty much gonna max out this this tree because we're getting so many, so much experience from it. 
Patriarch does what? Fertility, stress loss, and close family opinion. August does what? Diplomacy, martial prestige. The diplomat does what? Jed, I usually drink like a... Uh, so this is a 40 ounce or 1.2 liter um, bottle. I usually drink three or four of these a day. Sometimes I really slack though. Each alliance grants plus one. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know that. I've never really got... I see... I think the one I've not... I've played probably stewardship the least. Oh, sell titles is the one I was thinking of. Uh, next to diplomacy. I was going to go down this one, Chivalry Focus with uh, Gallant, to get the uh, the horse special. Um, I think the total I drink is like 144 ounces or something like that. So, like ten liters or something. I don't even know what that's what what that is. I I'm not. I don't know the math. I'm sorry. No, ten liters. What the hell? Are you kidding me? That's four hundred ounces. I'm stupid. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't remember. Because I, I looked at a chart and it's like, oh, you have to drink this much if you weigh this much and you do this much activity at a day. I do a lot of activity. Personal seems to take chance plus 25% against family members. And you know what? I kind of want to go down diplomat, but I think I should just get this patriarch. Although I don't really want that huge fertility bonus. Maybe we start jumping into this, I think, a little bit. I do kind of want an epic written about me, which would be kind of cool. Well, we're going to do a lot of fabricate claims. Maybe we'll go down this one. We'll go down. Well, I also like thoughtful because 100% increase or um, offering a gift is pretty nice. I want to just... I, I miss the Conquest CB. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's like one of my favorite. We'll disband these guys. Lot, we got a lot of money from that, which is good. 83 prestige and loot. I means we can actually kind of buff up these a little bit more. Good schemer. He is a good schemer. He's chaste, impatient, and calm, which doesn't make for the best of characters. Oh, and he's already ill. And he's only 10. Place her with him. There's a chance he could die, but I'll take it. Uh, Jed, it's part of the community. Um, dude, look at this little homie. Oh, <laughs> just the absolute diplomat, bro. <laughs> um, it's part of the community pack. That makes sense. Community flavor pack is the name of it. There it is. Now we need to get a court champion here. Someone with good prowess. We have anyone that's great, but I suppose this guy is one of these is better than nothing. Yeah, I, I really like it. I mean, it adds some fun stuff in here. Um, but here's the full size barbershop. I can add in my wife, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little guy. She can be a part of this. Um, big throne room east. Oh, cool. Mediterranean. Little backlight on him. The marshalling marshal. And then you can do a little... Um, 
me do this real quick, actually. Let me do green. We'll move them down. That's the new thumbnail. Up to 15. Oh, pin characters to add them here. That's pretty cool. But you have a whole bunch of different options. Let's see, I can. Oh, look at that sweet. Look at that male coif circlet. Uh, coif circlet. That's sick. Oh, man. Look at that flat. Oh, you guys know how much I love flat top and. Uh, what's it called? Butterscotch or what is it? Butterloaf? Uh, what is it? <laughs> Bread loaf? Sugarloaf, Sugarloaf, that's it, Sugarloaf, this one, this is, this is what I'm talking about, it's one of my favorite helmets. Oh, look at that cool Viking helmet. They just updated this too and added more. The Hungarian helmet, Slavic nasal helmet. Those are so cool. Sugarloaf. Rangy and guard nasal. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, if we reunite the empire, that's happening. Although I love that. Helmets are good, but is there an afro? Well, I'm bald, so I don't know. So you can see that really, they really put a lot of really cool helmets into here. Oh, look at that. That's sick. Dude, that is... This looks so good. Alright, where's that laurel reef, though? Yeah, uh... There we go. I have the Holy Roman Empire armor on, which I really like. But you have a lot of northern armors here. A lot of Byzantine armor. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I think if I was around this time, I, I don't like this Byzantine armor, because it looks too flat. I know what it's supposed to be, but it doesn't have any dimension to it or weight, so it looks kind of boring to me. Arabic armor. All the Arabic nobility clothing looks really good. You can spin them around. Oh, you can. Knights of the Holy Sepulchre. Yeah, that's my point, Chris. Like, I love the Byzantine style armor, the, the Eastern Roman armor, but it looks just so flattened. Like, like I understand that this is Lamellar and, so, and it's supposed to be kind of like layered and everything, but it doesn't look like that. So, I'm like, Neh. even, I mean, the Abbasid armor actually looks pretty sick. The Indian armor looks sick too. I've never really played any Indian playthrough 100%, so we should probably do that. Abbasid court armor. But where is that Holy Roman? Oh, oops. Forgot to apply that. Done and done, dude. <laughs> Um, so who educates my kid? That's, that's a big question of mine. Um, he's one. We should, I should probably do it. I'm, oh, I'm a genius. Yeah, I should do it. I should do it for sure. I should do it. I'll send a proposal to my kid. I, like a cross-eyed? Am I cross-eyed right now? I look cross-eyed. I'm like, ooh. Like. Okay, we're just about to complete this little guy over here. This war's popping off. 
I'm just gonna kind of use this to consolidate more power for myself. This has got a little bit stronger, but it should be all right. Yes, all of Akia will be mine. Uh, unfortunately, because I'm being orth uh, seeing as Alexios unfortunately insists on being orthodox, I could even argue that you have a claim to the Duchy of Akia by divine right. What's up, Danilo? How are you doing, dude? He's not going to be too happy about that, but he's also going to be attacked, so whatever. So, we can declare war on him for my claim on this kingdom, or this duchy. He has no allies. He has an ally in... Ooh, Apulia just went from not strong to strong. And Apulia is not at war. So let's wait a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Angina here. Not looking like a great character. Any cool decisions? Ooh, yes. All right. Let's... We should probably try to reform our faith. How long does that... Or how much does that cost? Quite a fucking bit. We also need the things to do so. So let's go on a pilgrimage. Is it really crisps? I'm down to play that. Can you form the kingdom of Hellas yet? No. I need the Duchy of Achaea first. I can almost form Thessalonica. Oh, no I can't. This is huge. I didn't realize I needed all this. But I can become a king soon if I get the uh, Hellas. Although, you know, I really like my flag and I lose it. <laughs> I, I can, I'm down to try out 1212 AD. I would do a big 1212 AD playthrough if you guys want to see that. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I was back with my decisions. Okay, so let's hold Mystical Communion. We'll invite Knights. And let's also go on a pilgrimage. See what we can get. Have you tried playing in the Baltics? I have not. Al Mohad, the Moors campaign over uh, in the Iberians, Iberian Peninsula. Um, I guess the Long Crusade. How old am I now? Twenty-eight. Wow, fucking wrinkled as shit. If you would create a custom kingdom, would you keep your sign? Uh, yes, Danilo, you keep the sign that you that your is your primary title. Uh, David Newton, how old is your wife in the game? And I can help you out. And thank you very much for the uh, compliment, my guy. It is time to depart on my crusade. By that I mean... The pilgrimage. Nice, got some divine guidance by Zeus. Dude, that's a pretty sick bonus. Yeah, also, yeah, you have to put her in your party. She can't be, um... If she's at a city, you need to go over to that city. You'll go enter the castle, and you'll see her in the castle. Click on her and put take into party. Uh, but also depends on her age. There's a hard cutoff on um, fertility, I guess you could say, in that game. Versus this has got a gradual changing. Ooh, what's the hard cutoff for fertility in that? Is it 38? Does someone know off the top of their head? Oh, this guy might be my new, uh... Oh, dude, he's trusting? Oh, this guy's perfect. Be gone, bro.
I could have sworn this was supposed to be the path onwards. None of my companions or I have managed to find our way back to the pilgrimage route. Are we even looking at the right stars at night? It feels as if we have been wasting weeks. We must find a guide, no matter the cost. Or, I swear it's just a little further in this direction. Uh, I'm not looking to get a severe health penalty right now, even though my health is through the damn roof. Like, look at this. Temperate, Herculean, Legendary Blade Master. <laughs> so. We'll hire a guide. My crown says no. Waiting for to Apulia to go to war. Our army's pretty beefy, though. I think we. I think we're fine to fight this. Apulia's coming with their 950 to help them out. That still is only 1700, so I think we're fine. I don't want them to get much bigger. we will just save though, just in case. I mean, we're having fun. There's no reason to play this like an Iron Man. Actually, gonna get some more archers. How much is this? Five done. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the Great Temple of Vaticano, or Vaticano. As the flamen offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had happened had to happen to the gods to bring me here at this moment in time. I have walked the holy path. So, your your face has the esotericism to understand the holy teachings. You know, oh, let's see. You gain the trait pilgrim. <laughs> I'm already a mystic, though. Oh, I have wise man. A mystic's one above. Womp, womp, womp. Knowledge still eludes you. That's a 29% chance it still failed. Council position. It's not because of him. Or she can help me with chivalry. Is this the super mega chad you created the other day? It sure is, man. There's no real good. Is this penalizing me, by the way? Good. Oh, under concubine limit. Yeah, I'm losing I'm losing prestige because of it. Okay. Julia, go to war with someone, man. Like, ugh. I need allies. <laughs> My daughter, what is she doing here? We need to find her a good spouse. Does she have anyone? Oh, she doesn't have any. Educate child? Yeah, we'll have her educated by this dude. Let's try and find her a, hopefully a matrilineal. That's way too far away. And I'm only going to be able to marry pagans, unfortunately. Is anyone close by? And the closest thing is going to be up here, probably. Uh, CKJ, they said that they're going to be rolling out the Steam Workshop once they come out of early access. With some infertile concubines. Oh, you're not wrong, dude. I wish that there was a filter for distance. Because, I mean, yeah, great, I guess these alliances, but... Whew, excuse me. Like, this is too far away to really affect anything. This is the closest one, and it's probably still not that close. Yeah. Corlin's all the way up north. That's pretty brutal. So I'm better off looking around for um, inheritable traits to bring into the bloodline. Do it by age, matrilineal. My courtia. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, that just kind of keeps that strong. 
she's got plenty of years for me to, to make this decision. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anyone or anyone either would want to bring into my court. What is my weakest counsel? Good education. Not worth it, just, just two. No, my wife's solid. She's got a good, round, uh, well rounded amount of skills. Um, she's hail. I don't have a lot of options because I'm in the middle of, you know, Christendom here. And, or well, Eastern Orthodox. And it's not going to make it easier for me. Just to train commanders. We will, I think, start this. So 800. And 1,000, that's 1,800. We've still got a 500 man advantage. And we're going to be able to kind of get the jump on Patras here. So, we'll declare this war. Is your heir adult yet? No, no, it's not. My allies, a lot of fucking knights. Light horsemen and armored footmen with bowmen. And I have got quick armored footmen are countered by what? They counter these types of. I thought the armored horsemen countered them. Counter archers. Where's bowmen? Bowmen counter skirmishers. Counters armored. I think. A light footman counter heavy infantry. Type heavy infantry, that's it, okay. So they counter each other is what it looks like. Oh, spearmen, duh. Pikemen are spearmen. Light footmen are not that. Oh, hell yeah, Brom. Way to go, man. So let's do this war. It'll be probably pretty dicey. We unfortunately have no natural allies. Is the game on build? It's on the most recent build currently. Corinthos. This is all under him. Your vassals. Okay, so you got this guy. That guy's pretty beast. The Cruel Axe. I want a nickname. I'm supposed to have a nickname because I got this damn ma that gives me nicknames. Okay, so let's just, let's have at it here. Um, we should be fine. If we need to, we can... We have onagers, yes. Definitely have some mangonels, actually. Better than onagers. I'm actually kind of down to increase this. We raise all of our armies, and we will attack here. My commander does not need to be him; it needs to be me. Oh, I am still coming back from that pilgrimage, which I should be back from soon. Good to be home. Now, I will be this army. <laughs> the music is so good in this game. Damn, we made it to a boat. Well, might as well take the... Whoa! They really joined up fast. It's a huge bonus, Ivan. I really think it's... Oh, seven months to take this? 
Even with my siege engines? They're going to go all the way over to my capital. I probably should go defeat this army instead. I don't think I have any, any military engineers. Don't, is what it looks like. But this will give me some movement speed bonuses, which we'll utilize to get there quicker. Guess I'll start changing letters with this guy again. For sure. Okay, I don't know what you want anymore, man. I've given you like pretty much everything. Okay, so let's stop here. Pop this to me. Yeah, so you can see how that went from I'm not going to win to I'm going to win. Or at least I have a better chance of winning. Let's take a look. Are there any... Mercenaries I can bring in. I don't mind doing a, uh, a debt here. Just to kind of help even the odds. Hoplites of Butrum. Trotum. Yeah, I think we'll do this really quick. I mean, it'll cost me 225. I'll go into debt for a little bit, but I'll for sure win this fight. Which I think is a little bit more important. It does give me a debuff. That is a state of having negative amount of gold. You cannot declare new wars. Your men-at-arms do not reinforce, and your enemies will have an advantage over you in battle. The deeper in debt you fall, the more penalties you will get. Uh, fewer levies, reduce popular opinion, and your vassals will like you less. Um, it's about a 100 debt, more or less, though. You know, you look at it like 225 minus 92. Um... It's not that significant. What, we're looking at 132, 33 debt, 38 debt, 138 debt. And I'll probably recoup that pretty quickly, especially if I get some captives here. So, do you guys agree with that rule, or am I, am I being too cautious? Right now it says, <clears throat> you will probably win, have more army commander traits. They have more army commander traits, and they have higher quality. Uh, we have more men-at-arms at counter with better soldiers, or more soldiers and better army commander. What say you, my bros? Back. I would take the Longbeard Band if I could. <clears throat> I don't have anyone I can sell right now, no. <clears throat> I will be defending on hills, correct. Actually, no, I think this is plains. It's farmlands. <clears throat> here, we'll save it and see how it goes. Like I said, I'm not above save scumming in this instance here. What's their commander traits? That's a good question. I have no commander traits, which is the unfortunate thing. Okay, so... They get... Oh! Forder. That's it. It looks like that's who's, who's commanding this army. Commanded by the ruler. Commanded by the ruler. That's what, That was also the, the follow-up thing, is if I lose... Well, I will also replenish my troops quickly, Franco, on my return down south. Um... Let's just let's just do it. Have fun. Yeah. 
Aha! I like to watch these ones in real time. Alright. Wounded Roger de Outville. Outville. Okay, Roger. So we're doing really well against their knights, which is good. And remember, this is basically the amount of soldiers I'm going to get back. These are routed casualties, not killed casualties. A lot of really good rolls. Really strong rolls. Dude, just crushing them now. Landslide win. So this is the total soldiers. And we still came out really strong on this. Who died? Who was anti council group? Did we lose? I think. We didn't lose anyone. They had so many knights, and we still like well, our knights are pretty chadly though. They do like 36, 36, 32, 26. I mean Oh, I'm sorry, those are kills, those are kills. I was like, dude, what the fuck? A 36 guy? What the hell? So we have some good captives in that. Who's this guy? Oh, he's just a sweet ass knight. How's about you do a little bit of that? Demand conversion and recruit. You're joining me now, guy. This dude's gonna be worth a pretty penny. Now, I'm not talking about the pasta. He's in house arrest, good. Competent fighter, how competent? Pretty damn competent. And he's a Greek Hellenic. Even better. Welcome to the family. 20, done. So I think now we double down, double back down, go and attack. Damn right. That was a pretty sizable win too. And we're gonna we'll just be recouping our losses as we do this. They I think they also did have the disembark debuff, Franco. Good call there. I forgot about that. We're just going to kind of follow them all the way down. This way, the visit. I'm passing through Athens, the capital of my vassal Count Michael, when I receive an invitation to visit his castle. As I arrive, he welcomes me with respect and a tour. One thing that strikes me is that the place is full of unfinished projects. Um, let's stay for a while. See what I can do, if I can do anything. Because I have so many, like, jacked up skills that... Okay, a library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building projects all over the place, most notably a whole dining hall and a chest of gold just standing in the middle of a hallway. I can help with the dining hall, books, or the chest. Might as well help with the chest of gold is very unguarded. <laughs> Uh, that chest of gold is very unguarded. You might want to guard it. It says, I should warn him. He thinks I'm planning something. Well, let's double back here. Hundred percent. There we go. And I got this guy, which is perfect. Because this is the ruler. And if I capture him, I don't even need to do anything else. I'm at 200 hours into CK3. I must blame, thank you, bot, and I'm enjoying the game because of your tips, videos, and streams. Well, thank you very much, Matt Lennon. I'm glad you're enjoying, man. I think I'm at like 290-something right now. So I, I feel you, dude. I'm really excited for the next DLC, whenever the hell that is. Can I do anything? This is an 82%. As I explained the risk of keeping a chest of gold out in the open, Count Michael's eyes widen in realization. Oh, of course it shouldn't be there. Thank you, do Constantino. It's like, yeah, uh, fucking duh. <laughs> Things are looking good, and there are other areas I can still help him out in. So the steward is an 
73, if I do this, I don't think that's going to be, it's 76. So do we try managed domains with him? 82%, there's still a 17% chance of failure, and the two times we have done a 90% success rate action, we have failed both in. So do we take the risk, or do we just go, now it's time for bed? What say you, my bros? I always like to make sure you guys have like a, a say, or, or you push the direction of these campaigns. I don't like to just kind of play aimlessly without your input. That's one funny hat, indeed. Ooh. Disco Elysium is so fun. Well, let's do it. We we wife swapped. We wife swapped for sure. Biscuit for the biscuit. Um, I mean, I try to help him if I was forced to, but better get someone who is a bit smarter than get uh, this one killed. What are your do? What are your character traits? It might help choose what he goes with. It doesn't really. Um, I don't, I think those are just pure, they're purely my skill checks. All I needed was some dedicated attention. I soon have Count Michael's dining hall well, hall well on its way to completion. Things are looking good, and there are other areas I can still help out on. Well, best not risk it. Time to go to bed. Hey, Titan Spartacus, love the stream. Keep up the great work. You're so awesome. Thank you very much, Garrett. You're fucking awesome, dude. Oh, full voice acted? I thought it was all fo fully voice acted. I actually... So... I have played a lot of Disco Elysium. I have not beat Disco Elysium. Um, that might be a fun one to play on stream with you guys. I am glad I was able to help. I spot Michael by the entrance, waiting to see me off in the morning. As I walk up, I hear him muttering to himself, He really fixed this place up. Ahem, uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, I thought he was saying ahem, uh -huh, like clearing my chest. Uh, ahum? Is that a, is that a, is that a, a parting? A Greek parting? After a quick goodbye, I am soon on the road back home again. I, I think that's kind of one thing that really bothers me about my, uh, history knowledge. I have history knowledge of tons of different subjects, but I don't have, um, linguistic knowledge of those historical subjects. Okay, well, this guy's just gonna get trash canned. Should do this before they can unite. Yeah, that's good. Oh, maim the enemy commander. Come back. Don't you guys want to fight? Bitches. Although Apulia is probably my favorite campaign, hands down. They need to have it as a button, CK. I like a button right next to it. I I'm surprised there's not a mod that does that for you. Alright, I guess we're going to kill that guy.
Have I seen the man in High Castle? I watched the first season, but nothing more than that. Ooh, perk. Perk. Um, foreign affairs effect. Ooh, we do really need that, I think. Defense of fellow vassal opinion, independent ruler opinion, can propose alliance without a marriage. Ooh, done. Done, 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 done. Because I think we need alliances, and we can't do them through marriages right now. Alright, so meager reinforcements. Nothing I'm overly worried about. Okay, what just happened? What just happened? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Under siege. Faction created. Groom to rule. Bonus with a bat. Nice. Knights that were improved. Good. And watch this. Boom! Clear the notifications. Well, that went up fast. Do or feel replaced. Oh, this guy died. That's good because I can also educate this little boy. Child, you can't do anything. Jed, I have got a daughter, but I'm pagan, so I can't um I can't really do a lot of stuff. So he is oh man, I got both. Okay, so this dude. Count Raul of Messenia. Gonna give me some doubloons. And Count Robert is also going to give me some doubloons. You know. I shouldn't have done that. Because this is a vassal. I should have converted him. I wasn't thinking. I just went for the money. Well, it's okay. <clears throat> it's not like it's that big of a deal. But I definitely should have converted him. They did change that now, though, so you can't just simply go on a conversion spree. That's okay. My foe can occupy it all he wants. I'm going to crush him right here, right now. Right here, right now! Hello, my former first campaign. It is me, put into the game to crush you. <laughs> oh, you can rebuild Alexander's Empire? That's really cool. Dude, he's... Commander 40? Damn. I'm gonna have to re-siege this just because they took it. But we got a lot of prisoners off that, too. Give me one sec, guys. I really gotta pee. Give me one sec.
All right, guys. You got a new uh, dude, Nick. I'm so sorry, man. Nick has been um, Nick's been messaging me, or Turn's been messaging me on uh, on Discord, and I'm always like in the middle of something, or like, oh, okay, I gotta respond to Turn, and I haven't been. I'm so sorry, dude. But yeah, Turn and I are gonna do a uh, a free for all with <laughs> with uh, we're doing Go Gojira, you, me, and uh, Professor Pone, right? And it's going to be a charity stream or, or a normal stream. I, I don't know. But basically, we're going to do a free-for-all. Seven games or six games. And if you lose, you have to eat a hot dog on stream <laughs> for every game you lose. So I told him I'm going to be like, yo, I'm going to I'm gonna tank these fucking games. I'm trying to eat as many hot dogs on stream as possible. You're so pretty. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh. My foot. I wish I was manifestation of uh So you're a good solid knight. You are being recruited. Which I'll also come I am just. Any is Doubtville, which is kind of cool. Doubtville. Roger! This guy is just a scumbag. <laughs> Is going well. We're crushing this army. Like we have, like, handedly winning this war. That's exactly it. I love hot dogs, so I'm like, cool. Yeah, cool me. I have a truce. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know. If this is a result of a um, mod, or if it's from the most recent patch, because I didn't read all the patch notes. But it's saying that my truce ends soon with them, which is really cool. So I with this position, which sucks. Oh, what? It's funny because I was waiting for a patch for Bannerlord. Let me take a look. Small update today. Hot fix and beta hot fix. Properties. Betas. Yeah, I don't see anything for a 1.56. 112 byte. This is a hotfix. I think he means byte. Action created against me, huh? Uh, I guess I'll go down here and take more stuff. Corintos. Yeah, more than anything, more than likely. <laughs> Argos. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take Corinth. Corinth was really huge during the uh, the uh, Peloponnesian Wars and the leagues and everything like that with Greece and or, I'm sorry, with Athens and Greece, uh, Athens and Sparta. Embassies. That of a death. Ducal conquest, CB. I've never. Done that one. What is this one? It allows the seizure of counties required to create an uncreated title of a duchy rank. Interesting. That tradition it is, though. He worked. Yes, they did in this last one, uh, Iron Thunder. They made them better. I don't know how much better, but they did make them better.
New cultural era. Your culture has joined the high medieval era. And new innovations available. Commander promoted. My marshal, Akakios, Akios, Ak 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 Akios, has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be as noble as stock as you, my liege, but on my name, I swear that Nicola Nicolaus is someone you would want on your side. Yes, he is. That is a military engineer, and he is a beast. He's... He's about to replace you. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Scolia Pal Palatine. All right, man. I, I apologize for that, dude. Well, I don't apologize for it because it's not my internet. But still, it's sad to see you go is what I mean to say. So thanks for jumping in, man. But I don't necessarily want an ambitious and sadistic person on my council. I mean, this dude's even a better, co better cho choice than the other guy. How do I increase my commander traits? I guess I have to go down military to do so. Uh, Sparty seems to have military power to expand his borders. Is there a reason to avoid it? Um, yeah, Ivan, you can actually kind of spiral out of control and get too many. Um, merchant has sent me a sample of seeds. Plants she claims are good for health and mind. I must admit I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how could it be? How hard could it be? Well, I mean, why the hell not? Yeah. Learning challenge, so let me see if I can hit my wife to this. Two, but anything's better than nothing. Ah, seeker of knowledge it is. I'll take it. That's too bad. Plus one learning. That's cool. You know what I'm actually going to do? This this might be folly, but I'm going to see if we can capture this mare again and try and get him to and release him to convert him. didn't get him. It looks like Drake. Yeah, the... Yaroslav. He is a dude of dudes, man. She'll release you. I don't think I even have any dread, so you may go about your way. He's a pretty good physician. We did not capture the Kulak's guy. We captured this mare, and I just kind of derped out, and I didn't take him, or uh, convert him like I should have. Rather than, rather than trying to get money from them, we're just going to demand their conversion. I think that's a better call. Just try to convert the court, pretty much. And it's a pretty, it's not a terrible one to do. Rashidun Caliphate. I was watching their history on kings and generals. Uh, I don't know. I can check for you. Because I assume it is a character. And I would assume that it just simply means taking over is that character. I guess I could have made her my concubine. She would have been actually a pretty good concubine. 
but it is what it is. It's fine. Let that go through. There's a commotion among the children today. The Auditus... Theodotus was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Leonidas intervened and did what he could to protect him. So he becomes brave, or calm, or zealous. I like zealous because it really means that uh, they can become holy warriors, but I don't like the other penalties here, especially the fact that I'm the only Hellenistic place in the game. So we're going to go with brave. I like brave a lot. We can't put him into wars, so we definitely will make sure he doesn't become a fighter. Because he has a 100% chance increase of dying. Alright. Oh! Look at that. So we got this guy. That is perfect. And I was just about to end the war too. So I can ransom him for an inordinate amount of money. But we will... Oh no! No! I can't. Well, we'll gain a hook. And then we'll be able to make him convert when we pull the war, when we complete the war. Because um, he is the he is the leader of Corinthios here, I believe. Yes, he owns Corinthios. Kind of. Ah, I hate that like nose itch that makes you look like you're snorting coke. We'll let this go through. And then we can demand conversion from him. Easy. Done. Cool. And our empire doth grow. <laughs> this little child. <laughs> okay, so we also are going to want to train this kid or educate this kid. Offer guardianship. And I mean, we kind of want him to be somewhat competent. So, Hellenism... So there's a difference between Hellenistic and Hellenic. Um, I believe... I, I had like a, a cool way of remembering it in my head. I don't remember if this is right anymore. Uh... Hellenic is, or Hellenistic. No, Hellenic is Alexander the Great and after. Hellenistic is pre-Alexander. I And I thought the thing I had in my head to remember it was that there's an N in Hellenic and there's an N in Alexander's name. And I don't remember if that's right or not, so let me look. Period. Hellenic period is... Hellenistic covers the period of the Mediterranean history between the death of Alexander the Great and the emergence of the Roman Empire. Okay, so Hellenic, so Hellenistic is, um, so Hellenic and Hellenistic. No. Hellenistic refers to the period of Alexander and his successors. Hellenic just refers to Greek on this time period, Greco-Roman paganism. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Crisps. I suppose I'll just do... I mean, I can't have my wife, which is weird. I guess I mean, I suppose I'll do this, but I want him to convert the faith. We'll wait that, we'll that one out a little bit. Well, no problem, Ivan. Demand this conversion. Use that hook. And he will convert. Paris, how are you, dude? Good to see you, man. What's going on over here? Who are you fighting, Epirus? Let's clean on the Duchy of Capilonia. 
I thought I had more... I, I see the wisdom of your faith, but I hope you understand what a long, winding path it is from the darkness into the light. Perhaps if you promise to support me in whatever way I need, the journey would be an easier one. No, absolutely not. I'm not giving him a hook. But he should still do it, because I used a hook on him. I never give vassals hooks, man. They can do a lot of damage with that. They can guarantee themselves a position on my court and just screw my court up. Um, so we're actually going to jump our limited... We're going to jump a limited crown authority. It's going to affect our vassals a little bit, but not a ton. Um, Paris, actually, I have done a spoiler-free content for Cyberpunk. What do you mean? He should have converted. I used my hook on him. That's stupid. I should... You know what I probably should do? This guy is not going to give up anything pretty easily. I think I should maybe force imprison this guy and take his land, and then I can give it away to some good vassals. Thoughts, opinions, go. This guy's actually pretty good. Fickle, chaste, temperate. I can send you a little gift. Yeah, and he'll, boom, done. Blase, what's up, my dude? Divine the star. I mean, first he didn't convert, which is just bad. <clears throat> well, Tall, the reason I don't want to force conversion and then release him is because he has a lot of intrigue. He's also lustful, paranoid, diligent, and he's a bold knave. So I don't want him to really try to... The course of practice to a Leon has been struck. My steward was just killed? No, no, Leon. My bro. Well, I guess I'll put him on there. He's my best steward replacement, and he's a good vassal. Dividing the stars, over the time I noticed a pattern, and after the day's analysis, I am now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. It is time for new beginnings and open minds. Open-minded. What is rakish? It is a fame trait that he has acquired. So I'm going to imprison you. It is going to give me some tyranny. They'll lose opinion. But that will ebb and flow. That, that will at least... Do this. Order truces and no prestige penalty for breaking them. Ducal conquest, firm hand. Monthly prestige per dread. How many vassals are on my council? One and two. Okay. Inspiring rule. Hmm. Forced vacillage. That's by allowing the forceful vassalization of a neighboring independent ruler of lower rank, unlocked by the horde. The... Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, flexible truces might be the way to go. I don't have any alliances, but it does grant me diplomacy. I 
I think... I give you title, check the title revocation because I don't remember doing that. <clears throat> yeah, I think this guy's got to go. Again, I'll save this because I can't really remember all the bad stuff that can happen here. He has no children. He's 31. Yeah, I think him and his wife are going to be a lot of issues for me. Yeah, Paris, I mean, I let, I, I'm currently, take a look at this. If I look at the Lieges Council, I am the Chancellor. I'm surprised I'm not the Marshal. What? Sure, okay. Oh. Back into the Flames of War here. They're just going to go right for the capital. So we'll summon up armies over here. And I will raise the land. I mean, if he wants to immediately go to war with me, I'll just go cut him down. I thought about killing the Emperor to sow some chaos. I have not. I should try to work on some alliances, though. Stuff maybe a little more north. Um, the mods I'm using are in the description. This wounded Count Gregarious. I gotta go smash out these baronies real quick. Yay! So, who do we have as prisoners? This guy's pretty... This guy's pretty fucking intense. This guy's a decent enough possible vassal. We're gonna definitely recapture Italy. We're basically gonna re we're gonna recreate uh, Justinian's reign here. So let's execute this guy. 
I don't I don't want him to be alive anymore. So let's take a look here. You Um I don't really have much problem with you. And go about your business. Oh, and the force demands, okay. Hostage taken by all war participants will be released. We'll wait until that thing goes through. I gain 20 dead, you lose. This gives me the right to ramp rightfully. Um, oh, okay, so I do imprison him immediately. Okay, so let me do this. Perfect, okay, now we'll do it. Put down that rebellion fast, little bastards. So you, I got all three of you in here now, huh? Well, isn't that just shit for you? What's going on here? Why is it so glowing red? Oh, there we go. That fixed it. So. Uh, I don't think there's a limit on... There's a limit on your court, maybe? I don't remember. So, we need a new chancellor. Your steward and vassal. Why were you not it? Are you in jail or something? Thanks, Daniel. You know what? I gotta check something. I have like a notification for like a pretty massive donation. Like a $50 one, I don't know where that was from. Okay, so let's do... I mean, Count Niklaus... I have tra I have raised you as my own, and you joined a liberty faction against me. You're a penis, but I think we can let this go. I think I get a weak hook on him, or I just release him. I mean, he just he just wants what's best for himself. I think that was me. No, let me take a look, dude. Oh, I know the problem. Streamlabs.com. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, I saw, like, I got an email for it, but I didn't see the donation itself. Look at stream elements because I switched back over to Streamlabs so I could do better donations here or notifications. I think I need to put Streamlabs to. Here it is. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. All right. 
right, so let me fix this up. Yeah, there it is. That's why. There we go. Sorry about that, man. So yeah, huge shout out to you, Zorak. I can now see this uh, this donation for fifty dollars. Says love your streams, even though sometimes I don't make it to all of them. Thank you very much, man. That is a huge donation, and do not worry about making it to the streams. As long as you're watching them and enjoying them, either during or after, that's all I that matter. That's all that matters to me. No, that's even that's even wrong in that. Jeez. Okay, let's timers. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, Franco, thanks for watching, dude. Let's deal with this guy first. Um, you little bastard. I can get money from him, but... I'd rather just convert him. Even get a hook on the little shit. You, on the other hand, Gregios, Georgios. I mean, I could have revoke. I could revoke his lands, but I mean, I probably should have done that to be honest. But we're gonna revoke this guy's titles. And revoke title. Then I can ransom him and he will be banished out into the, the nether regions. He'll have no place in the court. And at least I'll get money out of it too. So I think that's maybe the right route to go. I could just execute him too though. I get stress reduction. I gain a lot of Stuff. Unlawfully executed family? Are you fucking kidding me? He held a revolt against me. It's your second husband too anyway. You 62 year old bat. We'll have to give away some domains too. This kid's only... Five, so he has the chance to become a good vassal. Um, <laughs> the Duchess over there is bossy. So we will ransom him off. He will, he will be banished from the realm. Although it doesn't. Uh, Josh, the best way to get hooks in your lead so you can use them to declare wars and other vassals during High Crown Authority is either fabricating one or by searching for them in their court. So let's now give Corinth to... Give it to my marshal. Well, actually, I think I should replace my marshal for one. Chancellor should go to this guy. Oh no, he's also my steward. I have anyone with good steward? Good steward, right there. <clears throat> and stewardship to this guy. Doesn't really like me, but it's okay. You'll learn to love me. The five-year-old shall go. The five-year-old I've already released. I just demanded his conversion. This marshal, though? Oof, this guy is so good. What's your problem? Unreformed. Ambitious. Oh, he's ambitious, though. And those are pretty deadly. I don't like to have ambitious vassals. But he's got so much going for him. High Almoner. Pose this guy, because at least it's something. Mm. 
now. Corinth, who do I give to? I've got a lot of really good dudes here. Not going to give it to my son. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea. This little bro is almost of age. Look at him. Look at him getting so big and strong. There's no real good candidates right now. What's up with the crowns in your council? What do you mean? Oh, those that's for the um Um The minor titles patch that I've got. Unfortunately, this guy won't convert because he's zealous. <clears throat> yeah, we got Sparta and Athens. But I think we have to convert them. I think that's like the shtick. Let's... What are your crown land domain going to end up being? I'm curious. I'm not sure, Giovanni. I mean, I could make it down here for a managed domain. If I just give away Mithra. Oh, yeah, I do. I need the King Tales for those roles. Yes, yes, correct. So who do I give this to? Let's find ourselves a content, but this guy's a really good knight. Court champion. Also a really good knight. Uh, my map is terrible. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Oh man, that felt great. <sighs> that could be worth it. Give it to this guy, then make him. Since he's trusting, I think you make a good guy here. Master of Horse. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, so now we can become the King of Hellas. But I do want to. I want to keep my king, my my uh, thing. Oh, damn! That. We'll host a feast too to help out with all our strained relations. Let's wait for this to push through. So he paid me. The guy's gone. I think we just let him go too. Communed with Zeus! Well, I'll get a weak hook on him. Mm, just let him go, let him go, just let him go. And then we'll host this beast. And that'll help out with all of our relations with our vassals. We now own Corinth, which is sick. We'll probably give Corinth away, away though. I just wanted to have it really quick. The despot of Hellas. Oh, unpause. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from near and far. Reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Let it begin, then. Something changed your look? Uh, I got a scar? No, nah, they're just getting older. Okay, so create the kingdom of Hellas. I don't have enough gold yet, which we can easily get. Ah, yes, my tax collector. The pleading gaze I received from my tax collector, Nicodemia, Nicodemus, <clears throat> is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hid in all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. To think a mayor would act in such a way, I would distract the converging guests. I want Nicodemus to tell us a story. No, no, no. That one for sure. Get that favor hook going. Ooh, low county controls in Corinth and Thessalodius. But we can actually do this. Two years, whatever. You need 68 for 132. Done. Done. That's a huge bonus. As plate after plate of food is brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me, and I smile. At my insatiable vassal, uh, Mayor Inokentios is, sen is sensitive to lemon, is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome, and I pray you find the food to your liking. Especially you! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, his face as I save him from the food is definitely to my liking. Get another weak hook, man. I'm just gobbling up these hooks. You want, me you want bald hair, Dez? Hola, mija. <clears throat> oh. Count Thomas officially acknowledged your claim to the county of Yo uh, uh Yobia. I mean, do you want me to go to war with you, bro? <laughs> I, I mean, I absolutely will. Five dollar donation from Paris saying, have a Stella Artois on me. I know liquor is way cheaper out there than here. Thank you very much, dude. My lord, the wine, we cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad, okay. Uh, we'll have to pitch in. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that one. What my vassal's doing? For the most part, everyone's pretty good. Now I see a weak look on the Emperor. You ain't wrong, brother. Who we're swaying? We're swaying Bulgaria. As the guest departs. Until next time. 20 plus opinion across everyone. Oh, he's not swayed, huh? Well, that's unfortunate for him. Who are you trying to do a war with, dude? Oh, peasant revolt, huh? Well, that's not going to be good for you, little guy. But here. I will... Not sway you? I guess I can't sway a child, which, I mean, makes sense. No, it doesn't let me offer to... Oh, so, oh it's probably because he's at war. Okay. That real quick. Yeah. Right, give me one sec, guys. I'm going to refill my water bottle real quick. Right back. Let's pause that.
<clears throat> One second, guys. Two seconds. Okay, let's jump back into it. We're streaming for about another like 15 or 20 minutes or so. Take a look, y'all. So. You'll be unhappy to know, Silverhand, I was texting my mom instead. <laughs> you can ask for pardon. You are currently considered a criminal by your top liege, but he can grant you a pardon. Ooh, cool. You can just execute me right now? That's kind of fucked up. Okay, Kingdom of Hellas. Can't do that just yet. We're just about able to. I, like I said, I, ooh, I'm gonna lose my cool banner, like this this cool like gold dragon down here. I could do found a new kingdom. We're almost illustrious, but we're not an independent ruler. That's the problem. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, Pyrrhus ain't looking too good. Rapperous. And I can forge that claim too. Pretty smooth, like... I like that we've created this nice little, like... Um, if we look at the religion, though, like... It's still all Orthodox Christianity. Like... This is not controlled by Hellenism, so Attica needs to convert. Now we'll try it. I know, it's a sick banner. I lose it, though, if I uh, take on that kingdom. Oh! Boom! Boom! But I, he doesn't... He has to convert this faith now. Trivia Breton. Dangerous faction. Eh, if they do a peasant revolt, we shall deal with them accordingly. Wants the Byzantine Empire? Damn. Ooh. I don't think we are getting the bonus. Because if I look at it, it says... Oh, control by Hellenism. Okay. It wasn't before. Control by Hellenism. Okay, cool. Good. So we're now we're getting those bonuses. So we have Athens and Sparta. We do not have Alexandria, Carthage, or Rome. Though. Nice. That's, that's, that has fixed itself.
Yeah, I wish you could break people out of prison. Like, okay, they're, they're held in prison here. If I go attack it and siege it, I should be able to release them from prison. Leonidas came to me complaining about Nicarit bullying him. He started asking how to get someone hanged if he felt that they should be. So the trait arbitrary. Which isn't terrible, but it's sinful. Or, no, I don't want to be lazy. So I guess arbitrary is better than lazy. Not the best. What's up, Saeed? Where are you from? I'm from Southern California. Lovely Southern California. Why is Basil not reviewing me? I don't know. He seems to be okay with stuff so far. Um. Ooh, excuse me. With arbitrary right there. I mean, it's the best of the two. And we're on to high medieval, which is interesting. I think, I don't know if I should, so right now, if I were to create the kingdom, my kingdom would be all my present lands. Well, I suppose not. It wouldn't really be that. I just don't know if I should take over more territory and then create the kingdom or what I should do. Like I could take over Epirus pretty quickly. I mean, he's a little bit bigger. Oh, actually, he has some, he has some pretty good allies too. That guy's over here, this guy's over here, and they're close enough that they could help out. We're playing Thessaly, actually, Thrace. <clears throat> One sec. Let's decide, guys, what are we going to do now for our next, I guess, excursion? Um, we're coming around toward the end of the stream so we can decide what to do next and set ourselves up for it. So when we jump into the next uh, version of this stream, we can just kind of jump into it. The Aegean Islands are pretty consolidated across this guy. He gave me a claim here, so I don't know what this means. Like, I don't know how to take advantage of that outside of just outright attacking it. What's he Hella's banner? Okay, I'll tell you. It's this banner. It's just not as cool. We do have forced partition. Or no, not forced, no. CKJ drop another $5 donation saying, I'm from Northern California. It might be the lockdown talking, but your CK3 stream is the highlight of my week. Well, thank you very much, dude. I try to make them very relaxed and enjoyable. Together, we will take over the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> um, what was I looking at? Um, oh, the partition law. Okay, so... My feudal contract. How do I even look at that? So, my religious rights are protected, which is nice. But I don't have anything else other than that. I offer to just take more taxes. Yeah, so it's pretty much like, do I form the kingdom now? Do I wait? Um, Epirus has got a kingdom in and of itself. 
which includes uh, Dyrrhachium, but Dyrrhachium's been taken over by Bulgaria. Hmm, a little guy, huh? A little dude. Little truces. Force vassalage. Ooh. I do have some good dread right now. This would give me like nine. This would give me like ten percent prestige gain, but I think I just kind of push towards diplomat. I'm go force vassalization. I want to see how that works. Hmm. Interesting. Say you. So I was going to wait until after the stream, but I just can't hold it. I'm sorry. I need to use the restroom. One second. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, uh, oh. Uh.
Whoopsies. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm fine. I'll just wait until the stream's over. Then I got one of those, like, inward farts where your body's like, you're not fine. You gotta go. Whew. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> Yeah, you, you have no idea, CK. It just kind of flows right out of you. Um, so we can try and make the kingdom now, which it's fine. I've got the mind to do so. But it just... Do we wait till next episode and try and get Epirus um, or maybe some more of the Aegean Islands? Like, it was really weird that this guy gave me this claim. I've never been given that. I don't really know how to do anything with it. The smooth motion of the man pooping. Can't believe this guy won. He was like outnumbered like two to one and he still won. Okay, so... Epirus and Aegean, both, and then the kingdom. Okay. Oh, the thing happened to make your chancellor skills? Because it said, like, the guy acknowledged my claim to it. The good do. My lord, pray tell, who is the most noble person you have heard of? Oh... Well, me, of course. I'll, I'll give it to you, guy. Ooh. Okay, so now that we kind of have a goal here, we're going to try and get Epirus next episode and the Aegean Islands. So, um... We'll end things here because I think jumping into that right now will spiral into another like hour, hour and a half. Um, and I'm trying to keep it around, <clears throat> trying to keep it at around three hours. Let's go ahead and roll these credits here. Sorry for like the last like lackluster final 15 minutes of this one. <laughs> that was a quick stomach issue. So let's take a look at some donations though. I want to give out some big thank yous to some people that who made some sweet donations. Your activity. So, CKJ dropping a total of $15 in donation. Thank you very much, man. A $5 donation from Paris. Thank you as well, my dude. And also a massive donation here. Um, let me bring up stream elements to look at it. A massive $50 donation from Zorak. Saying, love your streams, even though sometimes I don't make it to all of them. Which is fine. I do not mind... Guys, it's important to me that you take care of your own lives first and foremost, and then coming into these whenever you can. Oh, excuse me. Maybe try to get modern Greek border, then kingdom. That's not a bad idea. That could be pretty fun. It'll be difficult, but I think it's doable. Hmm. But alright, guys. We're going to go ahead and shut things down here. We'll probably be back on Thursday with another stream of either this or Bannerlord. I haven't really decided. More than likely this. In fact, let's actually save this here and now. Um, but thank you guys very much for checking in here today. Don't forget to like the stream as always. We'll be back with more Bannerlord, with more Crusader Kings. Um, I've got a Total War Warhammer 2 speculation video that I am working on that will be out sooner rather than later. And perhaps more Cyberpunk 2077. Who knows? It's just going to depend upon reception and views on that. So we will be, uh, be on the lookout for some of that fun stuff here, guys. But as always, thank you so much for watching here today. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who donated and to Crisps for modding through the chat and helping me out with a couple of those history questions. I do appreciate it. But as always, guys, have a good one and take care.